Ever since the Kaesong Joint Complex shut down some two years ago, the Inter-Korean Transit Office appeared abandoned, unable to serve its purpose. Fast forward to today, that gateway was bustling with people taking part in the Olympic torch relay. Lee Juan follows us this report from Paju. The fifth and final theme of the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympic torch relay piece began on Friday at the northern city of Paju, located next to South Korea's border with North Korea. The special torch relay started with a ceremony in front of the Inner Korean Transit Office, where a mass bike parade of 750 volunteers and members of the Korea Cycling Federation gathered to accompany the torch. The number of participants symbolizes the 75 million people living on the Korean Peninsula, and the bike wheels each represent South and North Korea, conveying the message that the two must work together to move forward. It's a real honor to be a part of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, and I'm really thrilled to be passing through our country's northernmost region with other bike lovers. I hope for the reunification of the two Koreas. And with the latest talks between the two Koreas, the relay route, especially the unification bridge, holds even more meaning as it is across this bridge that the North Korean participants will be entering the South for the Pyeongchang Olympics. The bridge is one of the few official overland travel routes used to cross the inner Korean border and is normally off-limits to civilians. The theme piece comes at a highly significant timing as ties between the two Koreas have begun to thaw, with Seoul and Pyongyang holding talks for the first time in 25 months. The torch will now head east and light up the other northernmost regions of South Korea, including Cheolon, Inje and Gosang, over the next seven days. With relations between the two Koreas showing signs of thawing, there are hopes that this torch relay and other various efforts will help make the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Games truly a Peace Olympics. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Paju.